Winners! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle and we're back with a different type of review today. Um, I've reviewed a couple dress shops in the past here, some um, awesome ones that I love buying from. Um, but a new one that has just reached out to me recently. Um, they're not like new new, they've been on Etsy and stuff for a while, they're just they're new to me. Um, and I think it's just because they've seen that I love my skater dresses as you guys know and Disney and all that fun stuff. So. Uh, the owners over at Little Lady Shea Boutique reached out to me and offered to send me a couple free items to take a look and review and if I like them, you know, give them a shout out and everything. So I will happily do that um, for small businesses and stuff. You guys are awesome because I know how hard it is to run a small business though. We all need to support each other when we can. But I'll go ahead and put their uh, name and everything down the corner like I usually do and a link down in the description box below for you guys as well. Uh, like I said, they're called Little Lady Shea Boutique. I think they've been on Etsy for quite some time now, um, but they're just starting up their Facebook page. So I think, um, oh not Facebook, sorry, wrong <laughs> social media, Instagram. And so they'd like to try to build up their following and stuff on there too and build up their clientele list. So um, I did get, end up getting three dresses from them. I've posted about them before on my Instagram in case you haven't seen it. Um, I uh, figured I'll go ahead and do a YouTube video for them too, just so like, um, you know, my viewers here on YouTube can take a quick look at them. And I'm sorry if I'm kind of out of it because as usual, I'm tired. This is almost two in the morning when I'm recording this and it's been a very long week because it's the last week of school here. Um, and so there's been tons of graduations, promotions, stuff like that. You know, I'm Natalie finished fifth grade, so she's done with elementary school. Um, so we had her promotion ceremony. We had my sisters. If you guys remember Teresa from my early, early videos, my little sister. Um, she just finished eighth grade, moving on to high school now, if you guys can believe it. So the two tiny little girls that you guys um saw in like the first videos when we back posted back in what 2018 2017 somewhere around there and those two tiny little girls have finished elementary and middle school um but yeah so it's and then one of my other brothers got his master's too so that's it's been a crazy busy week um but yeah so let's go ahead and hop in i'm gonna probably do it quick just because so you guys like i said i'm i'm tired so i want to make sure i can share them and get some info out for you guys about them so here's the first one i'm already wearing this one so they sent me three i gave them um they asked for like just which ones are like my favorites from their shop so i just i didn't really know so i just picked out like a bunch of them gave them a list and was like here send me whatever i don't mind like i'm happy with whatever you guys send me um and they did end up sending me moana which you guys know is one of my favorites so this one's awesome so i'm gonna try my best to show you guys the detail because i'm wearing it and it's a little bit hard but so here's the top you've got kind of you know like the pattern of her um crop top that she wears along with like the shell detailing here along the front of her outfit you've got the print and then for the skirt it's a little more so I have a couple, well not a couple, I have like one other Moana um, dress from another shop. That one's a little bit more like, it looks like you might have printed like her actual outfit on there. This one is a little bit more inspired versus like the look of her outfit, if that makes sense. Because like a lot of them, they'll look like, you know, the crop top, they'll have the sash portion and then, you know, the actual print of the skirt. So this one's a little bit more like inspired for people who don't want like the actual costume look, if that makes sense. So you got, you know, like the the flower prints on her skirt and it's a little bit more just kind of scattered, but it gives you, it's a, it's, you know, it's the same color scheme. It's got similar flowers. So like I said, more of an inspired look versus the whole costume itself. But again, just like the backpacks, I think everyone has like their own, you know, style of what they like in terms of Disney apparel too so like I said this is more for someone who might not necessarily want to look like the costume itself more just the aesthetic of it this is I mean it's still more on the costume side obviously versus just like a like a Disney bound where you would just do color schemes with regular t clothing this is still a little more on the side of like 
cosplay-ish. I don't know. It's, I, you know, for, I think with Disney Bound, people, it's definitely more of like, it's just regular clothes in the color scheme of the character. This, I think, teeters for like Disney Bounders. I think this probably teeters a little bit more on the costumey side for them. But for me, I like it. This is just the style that I like to do. Um, but I have a funny story behind this dress already because I actually, um, I've worn this one out and I was at a little, like, I say water park, but I use the term very loosely because it's, I'm in like a small city, so we don't have anything big and cool. Like it's, it's this tiny little thing with like a few slides, for like small slides for the kids. So it's, it's nothing crazy, but I took Natalie there for a, um, one of her friend's birthday party a couple weeks ago and I was wearing this and I had a couple little girls like walking by they would kind of look at me a little bit like they're like thinking whether or not I look like the character but then they would say hi Moana as they walk by it was so cute like one little girl as she's leaving with her family you know like they've got all their stuff and they're wanting they're leaving the party and she goes bye Moana she hadn't said anything to me like the whole time she just must have been watching me at some point and then decided she needed to say hi or bye but so cute this is why i think i mentioned in the you know the previous video where i um it was just like a tiktok that i posted of these outfits from the shop where i said i like dressing with moana just because it's cute and kids always they always recognize me as the character and it's always funny for me um so proving my point I got called Moana several times wearing this dress out and like I said, nothing, it's not like super super custom but it's the same color scheme, my hair is not the, her you know, big full mane of hair but I'm just close enough that the kids will still call me Moana even though I'm just kind of standing there like, you know, just hanging out with my girls. But anyways, yes, so here's the first dress, I'm gonna show you guys the second one. So this one they sent as, um, actually it wasn't on the list that I sent, but they just sent it as a surprise and it's so fun because I actually don't have much like Alice in Wonderland stuff. So I like adding to my collection this, it, it just means I can make more funny videos when I have like costumes that match characters. But this is pretty obviously Queen of Hearts if you know the character well. So that's the thing, like it's not like full on the character, but if you know the character, you'll recognize what it is. But you know, you've got the black and red for the character, this chevron, not chevron, but um, the striped pattern here on the front, the checkered pattern with the red and yellow, or no, sorry, can you guys tell I'm tired? Black and yellow on the front here, and like kind of like the faux sweetheart neckline in the front too. Like I said, if you know the character, the Queen of Hearts, be able to recognize this pretty much like right away that that's what the character is. So here's a cool one for you Alice in Wonderland fans. Um, I want to mention too the in terms of fabric very nice so this is it's um it I guess it would be spandex right is the is what you would call this fabric. It's like the the fabric that you would find in like swimsuits almost. So that, that's why I wore this one to um, when we were there for the birthday party at the water park place. Is uh yeah, it's like almost like the swimsuit uh, material, and it's it's thick-ish. You know, it's not like super thin or anything. Like it's not gonna be see-through. Just show you guys there. Um, so it's a it's a decent thickness and it's nice and stretchy and in terms of sizing I'd say because I checked their chart so um, to let them know my size obviously so for me I think I think it fits pretty well to exactly what like the the chart that they provide so I know that's another thing too because like I said I buy a lot of the um these kind of dresses from Etsy make sure that when you buy them please check the chart that they provide they you know most shops will provide some kind of sizing chart and they'll let you guys know like if it runs a little big or small um and because the sizing is not depending on their printing company that they're using maybe their sizing might be a little bit different than what you might be used to from just like a big brand retailer and stuff and so it's best to just make sure you check um 
the sizing that they provide because it might be a little bit different. So in this case, I think it's pretty true to size. This is a, um, I ordered smalls and like they fit nicely with, you know, and they've got tons of stretch. So I don't think you, I would say that if you're between sizes, if you like it to be a little bit more fitted, go ahead and size down. If you like your clothes to be a little bit looser, go to the size up. Like this is, like I said, this is your between size. But, sorry, I've already kind of showed you guys the third one that is up here, but this one was like one of the favorite ones that I had put on the list um, for them to pick out for me, whichever they'd like. But this is one of my favorites that I had seen and I really wanted this one for sure. And they did let me know afterwards too that this is also one of their favorite prints. And I'm gonna guess so you guys can see why. It's just so cool. So this is again, not like, a character like a single character cosplay piece but definitely inspired by a bunch of the characters from the movie itself let me show you guys here all right so you've got you know the pixar clouds there that's in andy's room got this kind of paisley print for woody same with like the cowboy print i think it's a little bit for woody a little bit for jesse got the pixar ball of course is it called the luxo ball is that right? Where's that the lamp? I think it's the Pixar ball. I think Luxo is the is the lamp, right? The jumping lamp. But we've got the purple, bright purple here. I'd say for Buzz. And we've got oh, and this also like stripe pattern there. I'd say that's for Woody shirt too. But you've got the little, like little pattern of the alien faces. But it's so cute. Yeah, and it's an all over print dress. So the entire dress goes on that pattern. But it's so cute. It is. I would. It is a little loud. <laughs> so, you, you. I think I'm less likely to wear this just kind of out and about. Um, because you guys know I. A lot of people ask like if I wear my stuff just like only at Disney, which that would suck because I only go maybe once a year. So, I have way too many outfits to wear only at Disney. I would take forever to go through all of them. So I actually do wear. The majority of it just kind of out in everyday life. This one, like I said, this one is probably a little bit more loud just because it's super bright and everything and busy with the pattern, but I, I mean, I probably still will wear it out. But it's so cool. I just, I don't, like I said, I just love the patterning on this one. It's so cute. But yeah, here, I'm gonna show you guys because it's a little easier to show on an outfit that I'm not wearing, but look, it's like, that's a ton of stretch. That's why I said that if you're in between size, like in um, when you're checking the measurement charts, if you're in between, definitely um, size down if you want more fitted, just because there is like tons of stretch. So even if it's if you're afraid that it might be a little small, if you're okay with it being fitted, there's the stretch will be totally fine. So um, yeah, all right, you guys. So, like I said, short video and sorry for all the babbling and stuff. It's like I said, I'm exhausted. But yeah, um, do all the usual stuff, you know, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for when we post our new videos. Um, it's summer now, so we'll see if I have any better luck posting. Um, at the proper time and if I can start getting more than one video out a week like like we said we were trying to do we you know my original plan is at least do one a week on Sundays but I'd like to expand more and maybe do like an upload like midweek for Natalie to do whatever she'd like to post about um she still has a huge squishmallow collection to go through and I know that she'd like to do some videos on that so I'll have to um sit down with her at some point and try to record a couple of videos of those and get those posted up for you guys on Wednesdays too. If you're a, if you're a Squishmallow fan at all, if your kiddos like Squishmallows. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and for putting up with my late night tired babbling and we will see y'all next time.